one of the things a lot of people want to do is create their own drawing template. So, for example, if you just had this installed at your school or your workplace and you want to create your own template, I'm just going to go through how you would do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a existing template. So let's go into Metric. I'm going to open the ISO one. Now in here, this is your standard ISO drawing board, ISO drawing board, and there's a few things that are preset, but I'm going to go through how to change them. So if you go into uh, Manage and into your Styles Editor, this has got pretty much every possible option you can think of. So for example, if you go into the default standard in here, you'll notice that if you go to View Preferences, you can change things like the way a thread is displayed on drawings and the thread edge display, all that sort of stuff. In here you can see projection. At the moment it's set to first angle. We of course want third angle. So I'm going to change that one in there. You can change all sorts of other things in here as well. So you can change for example the hatch pattern and things like that. But when you're happy with that you just press done uh, and save the edits, yes. Now if you wanted to say for example make sure that all of your drawings started as an A4, you can go into edit sheet and change that to A4. You can also change the orientation where the title block is, if it's portrait. I'm going to leave it A3 and I, I prefer having my title block in the bottom right so I'm just going to hit OK. So what we need to do is we need to add a couple of logos to this and I'm going to add the third angle projection symbol as well. So if you right click on this ISO here, if you edit the definition it basically edits this block down here. Uh, and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. If something's got brackets around it means it's smart text so it's pulled from somewhere else. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to change some things, add a couple of pictures, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go into here. Uh, I don't want the checked by, but what I would like actually is the mask. So if I right click on checked by, I can edit the text. This is the same as any other sort of application, so you can just change it. You can change the text, bold, underline, size, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to change this to mass. And this checked by is actually smart text, I'm going to edit that as well. You can see it's grey and it's got these brackets or parentheses around it so you know that it's smart text. I'm going to delete that. In here you can take the physical properties from the model or you can take all of this other stuff here. Prompted entry means it asks you for it when you open the drawing. Uh, so for example you could use scale as a prompted entry. So if you knew the scale of something you're going to draw it would come up with a box at the start and say excuse me you need to put a scale in. I'm going to use physical properties of the model and we want to use the mass and we can change the precision of it in there so I'm just going to change that to two decimal points and then if you push this button it adds the text so you can now see it's going to look for the smart text of the mass okay and the approved by I don't want that in there so I'm going to delete the date for example and this one in here uh, and let's change that one to scale And as default, I'm going to just say that this is going to be not to scale, just in case somebody forgets the scale items. And then I'm just going to move this line in here and then reduce this one to 25, same as the rest of them. So I added 15 to that, didn't I? Keep all and in this one here, I'm going to draw a small third angle projection symbol. Uh, let's put that across there, so 30 mil, and then uh, I'm going to change the properties of this line. I'm just going to change it to dash dot, so it's a center line. Change the color of that to red. So you, just so you can see, you can do all sorts of things in here. Uh, and then I'm going to draw a circle course, say about there, 3 mil, draw another circle there, 7 mil, now I'm just going to draw in the rest of this, so, third angle rejection, just double check those. Yep. Actually make that a smart tap. a smart dimension, so I'll copy that in there. So 
Okay, let's just put, uh, oops, just put a dimension. I should make it 10 mil. Just constraining everything together now. Again, you can see in the bottom right hand corner we've got five dimensions needed, so let's just change to ten as well. And So I'm going to delete this one in here, and this one we're going to put a couple of our logos. So let's just see what we got um, dimension-wise. So we've got 75. I'm just going to extend this actually out. Um, so I need to go 25 mil. And goes insert image. Put a second image in and delete this one line. Now I've got a uh, oh, I've got the line over here. Just going to add that last eight mil line in. So eight mil. Change the properties of that to red. Dash dot. And again, just use our const. Whoops. Just use our constraints to line this up. And I've also actually just squared off this box here. And I'm going to draw a new text box. So I press T. Just put a new bit in here. Um, all dimensions in millimeters. Big, so I forgot to change that to text right there. There we go. Make sure it's all constrained in, and also I've just got to put a dimension in that direction. Finish sketch, save edit, yes please. <coughs> so you can now see that our drawing border is complete, and the other thing you can do on here, styles editor, like we did earlier with the view preference, what you can actually do is if you go into layers, you can actually change all of the things like the center mark and the center line. I'm going to change them to be red. And I'm also going to change, let's say, hatch to be like a purpley colour. And we're going to change hidden lines to be like this sort of colour here. And this way, it's just easy to determine what it is on each of your drawings. And let's say, um, change dimensions to blue. Just so you can differentiate between all the different types of lines on your drawing. And hit done. When you're happy with your template, then you can go in and save it where the template's saved. If you don't know where that is, if you go to New, you've got the file extension just here. So we're going to go to Save As. 
and again that file extension we're going to go to that one again into templates and I'm going to over overwrite this word skills template here because that's the one I'm doing so I'm going to hit save and hit yes yes that was just said it's not in the project you're working on so now you can see the world skills template now I've saved it that the title has come in down there so that's how you create and edit your templates